dares disturb my slumber. Hey everybody, Cool Pika here, and welcome back to more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. In the last part, we've tackled the entirety of the first half of the Skull Woods dungeon. And in this part, we're finally going to tackle the second half of it. We got a little bit lost, but I was able to like hopefully navigate it with no issues. But hopefully, hopefully my last video was help was helpful enough to like help you navigate this dungeon fully because um I know on my first at least my first time exploring it I got a little bit lost I mean I think anyone's first time playing through this dungeon you can get a little bit lost here but I think it's like once you figure out where everything's at it's like it's not hard to figure out whatsoever but after that though this main portion though is like really this main portion is like really straightforward though Although, next thing knows we have to find like the small key. Although, this part here is like we kind of have to figure out how to get through underneath here because there's apparently a bunch of walls underneath that bridge. Aside from that, that's pretty much all there is to this place. Um, and again, um, one thing I'm going to be doing like usual, um, I'm going to try and hold on to as much magic as possible. So. As fun as using the bomb does to just murder everything, I don't want to try and do that as much. Oh, yeah, these things. So, you're fine, you're completely immune, for, immune from the bunny thing? Oh, no, not really. Because, um, you see that golden scene that run, rams into you? You're not completely safe from bunny form. Because if you run into that in the dungeon, even for a little bit, that will turn you into a bunny, but only for a little bit. But that's, but again, it's a limited effect since you have the immune parole, but if that were the case, um, that would probably would have had a more permanent effect. Or I guess in this case, it probably wouldn't do much since you've already would have been a bunny regardless. So yeah, I guess there's not much in this room. Um, it's just a matter of getting the key here and then everything else is pretty straightforward. Okay, I guess it's just a matter of like, oh, wait, what am I doing? I actually could just use the magic mirror to just take me back to the entrance instead of just navigating everything. That That's actually much easier. Honestly, yeah, I mean, the magic mirror, it does, is helpful for that, for that, so I really should be using that. Okay, we, then we got the floor panels here where you have to navigate through everything, so it doesn't matter like hitting the white ones and not hitting anybody. Okay, down here, down here, over here. Okay, I'm just taking up this guy, jellyfish, no problem. Ah oh, yes, this place. You alright, Mio? I'm guessing she's just, I'm guessing she's just wanting attention. I'm not sure if that's picking up on the mic, but okay. He's picking the perfect time to just meow. Here, uh, here. Want the leash? Want the leash, Mio? Want the leash? Oh, oh, Mio! When I was like chasing you with the leash, the master hand grabbed me. Thank you, Mio. Look what you made me, look what, look what happened. Oh, of course, of course this has to happen when Mio has to like get my attention for something. You know what you did, Mio. You know what you did. Okay, um, for this room we have to light torches, so really, now we have a fire on this makes this a lot easier. However, again, bear in mind, torches will go out. Torches do go out and... Okay, I'm taking too long with this, so I'm gonna have to start this process over. Oh, I actually need that encounter, so I'm actually, I'm gonna have to do this again. One, two, three, four. There. Yeah, that was gonna be hard to do with a gift dose in the way. And in here, actually, this is actually, we're actually really not so bad. This actually, okay, okay, yeah, this part's actually not so bad. Pretty, pretty, I think it's like the easiest part of this dungeon, honestly, because this part's actually pretty straightforward. Yeah, okay, you know what? I've actually... Oh, come on! Just when I said this part is truly straightforward! 
Come on! Screw you, dude! Oh no, you know what? No, no, screw it. I'm just I'm just gonna bomb us every scene. I'm just gonna blow everything up again because like I'm not I'm not dealing with this again. Stupid master hand! The boss was just in the next room over! Okay, no, everyone everyone dies. Everybody dies. Wait, stop, 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 stop. I did not want to do that twice. Doing it twice is just overkill and unnecessary. You too, Jim. I didn't want you feeling left out. Is that everybody? Good. Okay, again. Let's do this again. Take two. Or I guess take three in this case. One. Two, three, four. I guess you guys can, you guys can also kindly burn. Thank you very much. Same goes to you. Anyone else want to ruin the party for me? No? Thank you. There we go. Boss time. Let's do this. About time. Woo! See ya, sucker. At least I know for certain, at least I know in this case I won't have to worry about any master hands. Yeah, this guy. Um, this guy shoots beams. That's about most of all he does. And... The most we have to worry about here are these spikes and moving tiles. Well, the moving floor, and, well, the moving floor in general, but that's everything there is to this boss. But honestly, what I like really doing with this boss is you can pretty much just attack it with a sword, or in this case, what I like to do when is shoot it down with my fire rod. Because that seems to be how we get rid of all kinds of bug or pest problems. Or just die again. Die twice. I'm honestly surprised I've gotten this far without losing any fairies. Well, we've ran out of magic power, but again, I guess it's just me getting greedy with the Bobos. Because, like, I just had to watch everyone burn. I guess bow and arrows could work, but again, if magic runs out, you can always attack it with the sword, so it's, like, not much of a big issue. But again, it's just a mad premise of watching out. And again. Okay, we're not doing so good here. Oh, and that was a game over. Be right back while I go get more fairies. Okay, here goes round two. Okay, um... Okay, we gotta have to wait until his car totally starts flying before we can actually do anything, but okay, you know what? I'll give him that one. I'll give him that one, since I did come here starting out with two hearts. I don't think I really could have avoided that, but... I'm spamming the heck out of Fire Rod as much as I can here, but I think I've done as much as I could with the Fire Rod. So I guess for this part is it's just watching out as much as possible. But I'm just dying quicker than I can slash at him. So I guess in my premises I gotta focus more on dodging rather than slashing because I think the problem is I'm getting too greedy here. I think I've gotten more used to my method of like I've gotten so used to the method of just using my of just like using the spam and the fire rod and just having blue potions all the time just from gambling just from gamble grinding which I haven't been doing this playthrough so that's probably what it is so 
I kind of have to pl so I'm kind of just doing this legit without any real magic support. What? I got a little magic, so maybe I can get one. Okay, I got one out. Okay, no, no restore points. I have to take the loss. Okay, change of plants here. I kind of caved and decided to get a green potion for a bit of magic boost when I'm running a magic here. So, because, um, honestly, I think my best, because I think the best way I've honestly done this boss is by spamming the fire rod. And, and I take this boss out, like, really quickly just from doing that alone. And it's like, anytime I try to use a sword, it's like, recently it's just, I seem to die way faster before I can hit any slashes on him, which is not really doing me any good. So that's why I'm getting this magic of medicine right here, just to consume that and see if I can just kill this guy, like, really quickly. <laughs> because I think that will do me more favors than just... I'm missing. I'm actually missing, like, a lot here. I'm actually even getting any hits in? Roll. You okay, Mio? Okay, Mio's yelling at me for- Mio's been yelling at me for some reason since this recording starts, so... I'm gonna have to check up what's going on with her when- I'm gonna have to check up on what's going on with her once I'm done recording. Maybe she needs more, maybe she needs new food out or something. I don't know what it is. I hear you, baby. I hear you. Okay, there we go. Now he's down. There we go. Okay, I don't know why this took more tries than necessary, but man, that was annoying. Oh, yellow, that's new. Jordan, because of you, I can escape from the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you. Do you know the prophecy of the Great Cataclysm? This is the way I heard it. If a person who has an evil heart gets the Triforce, a hero is destined to appear. And he alone must face the person who began the Great Cataclysm. If the evil one destroys the hero, nothing can save the world from his wicked reign. Only a person the Knights of Hyrule who protected the royalty of Hylia can become the hero. You are, you are of their bloodline, aren't you? Then you must rescue Zelda without fail. You understand? Basically, I'm just a descendant of the knights. Good to know. May the way of the hero lead to the Triforce. And now that's three down. Yep, so that only leaves, um... Only four to go, wow. Pretty making fast work of these dungeons here. Yeah, okay, with that being said, it seems like our next stop will be the village, which is actually not far from here. And believe it or not, a lot more stuff is going to be open to us now once we enter the village. So believe it or not, I am looking forward to this. I, I'm also really looking forward to dungeon number four, because once we go to number, dungeon number four, a lot of stuff opens up to us. So I am really excited for that. So with that being said, though, this is where I'm going to wrap it up for the time being. Yes, Mio, I hear you. I'll check up on you in a moment. I'm almost done. Let me wrap up here for a second, okay, Mio? Okay, um, next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past, we're heading into the village. I will see you all next time.